Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tiara and you are watching the Madam Boss Lady channel. The stars of this national championship game are Alabama versus Georgia. Now the game is not for two more days on Monday, but Indianapolis has put on this display for the interaction of people who want to come down and see some festivities, meet some people, and enjoy themselves before the playoff and the tailgate. Now we are coming down here for something called College Playoff Fan Central, which is a display that Indianapolis has taken to the convention center just to do a little something for the nostalgia of the crowd. Now we decided to take advantage of our great transit system and rode the bus downtown because we found that there would be quite a few people in the city and parking would be kind of scarce. Hey, how are you? So we're moving right along and there is music playing everywhere. There are DJs out here and there's literally music playing from every street corner. Now this was on Saturday, which is the first of three days before they lead up to the game. And as you can see, there is a DJ out here and he's having a bunch of fun. But yeah, this is what it is. Okay, Indianapolis, this looks like it's going to be really interesting. What? Come through green. Uh, I think these men are like two stories tall. <laughs> Playoff Central, Playoff Fan Central, and I don't know, they doing it big down here. He's a good man. Off season, exactly. All right, all right. Easy, once again. <laughs> Now you'll see kind of quickly as we go through some of the people who are represented here, and this is Modelo, and they have different games set up for each person to interact with.
I could buy everybody out there popcorn and won't be upset. You know what I mean? That's how many people was there. You know what I mean? But football, it was tons of people. Like it was, it, it brought not only a team together, but it brought a whole town. It brought a whole city, a whole area together. Even athletes and just even professional players are under such an immense pressure just because of social media and even in college now we've got NIL, name, image, image and likeness. Um, what kind of extra pressure do you think that adds on student athletes and on professional players? I don't, I think we already go through pressure. I mean, so to play football, to be a student athlete, that's a lot of pressure. So we, we look at just like the normal, like, if you just a student, all you gotta do is go to class. You know what I'm saying? When you're a student athlete, we on the schedule. So you gotta get up at five in the morning to make a 6 a.m. workout. You gotta go to tutor. Uh, coach got you on the schedule. Some people like to do their work early in the morning. Some people like to do their work after practice. So for, for, for us, it's like five to 7.30 to eight o'clock at night. And we ain't even talk about practice. Oh, really oh my. <laughs> These are the two guys with the coolest hair and beard combo we've seen today. So these guys, this guy's got a ninja headband on and I love it. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, close with the three ball. Both are living and dying by the three. See if it pays off. Zero, zero. He's gonna put it in first. He needs some more balls on there. He's only got one left. Here he goes, zero, zero. Someone's gotta put one in. Oh! Zero! Too easy. Oh, he's ready. He's got the the village uh, it ain't holding up too much heat though keep it truthful but uh, this little torch ain't really giving up no heat so we just left playoff fan what is it village or whatever and it was pretty dope i don't know i'm not sure how they do this if it's every year whatever blah blah, blah. But I'm here for it every time. And it's raining. I'm out here getting wet. Child, this ain't what I was signing up for. I the bus down here. And that was the best move for me because we saved about 30 bucks on parking. I know, right? What? Okay, IFD in the house with the Polara. What is it called? Polar? Polaris? This is bomb. I think we can. 
<laughs> the show down, um, the show, the, the show this, oh, as I was trying to say earlier, you can't, um, the, the show for Doja Cat is downtown, and that's where most everybody's headed. It started at four, it's about a little after five right now, and I'm not going, I'm going home, because it's raining and I ain't even in it like that. Doja, I'll catch you later. So we're away from all the music. And it looks like they are expecting a lot of people down here. Like at least a million. I don't know for what day and what all that other stuff, but they're expecting a lot of people here. And that little incident. But okay, so yeah, we are trying to I don't know, have a little fun out here. But it looks like we're just gonna cash out and go back home because it's too cold and these are all outdoor events. I'm not here for that. Okay, so we have made it to the transit center. And right now, yeah, we just got our, our bus actually just left, so we have to wait on the next bus. And I'm thinking they come like every 15 minutes, I'm not sure, but it don't matter because we're here for all that. <laughs> I don't have to drive, we didn't blow no money parking. It was a really nice experience, and it was all pretty good. Would I do it again? Absolutely. We had to do this little survey, and of course, they asked all those questions. I didn't know that there were so many sponsors, but yeah, it was a good experience. So just to recap, this entire trip that we took, I think we started off at like two something and got down here. The place closed at five o'clock and all we paid for was the trip on the bus. We paid 525 for three people to ride. We got down there, we got a wristband, was able to participate in all the festivities and enjoyed ourselves for free. So 10 bucks for a whole Saturday filled with fun and entertainment. So for our viewing pleasure, we, we could have went downtown to the circle and saw Doja Cat for free, but baby, it's just too cold for all that. Not gonna happen. But when it's all told, that's one whole day of free entertainment. And this concludes my video for the National Championship of College Football. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like and share this video with your friends, and you will see me in the next video. Bye.